in the moment tonight. Uh, I just thought that it was very fitting that we had a conversation and sort of thinking about the atmosphere that we are currently in as a country. Um, and so I pulled a quote from a civil rights icon, Stokey Carmichael, and he says, we were aware of the fact that death walked hand in hand with struggle. Um, and I think about the two, the, the two young men who lost their lives this week, one in Baton Rouge and the other in uh, Minnesota. Uh, and the, mo the, the, th the first thing you could say to yourself, and I talked to my brother before I taped the show today, is just literally wrapping your arms around the black men and boys in your life that you care about, no matter what color you are, right? Because indeed we live in a society now, this is, uh, for some folks out there who don't understand this, right, for, for our white audience, just, just acknowledge it and know it's true. That being a black man in this country and encountering, uh, when you encounter a police officer, you literally fear for your life. Because you're, you're not sure. Are they gonna pull out a gun and shoot me? Are they gonna taser me? Are they gonna beat me up for doing nothing? And that is a reality that so many folks live. And you take that, let's take that a little bit a step further, right? For all those folks who are parents who are here illegally, right? Who are, uh, you know, Latinas and Latinos who've, who've lived in this country their whole lives, where every time they see a law enforcement officer, they're afraid of deportation. We are faced with some really big challenges in this country. And what Stokey Carmichael says so poignantly in the quote is that when we are struggling to achieve the American dream, we are struggling for rights, when you're struggling for a more fair and just society, those things in death walk hand in hand. And that's sad. It's ironic, but it's true. So tonight, I say to all those folks out there listening, if you have a brother, a black man in your life, it could be a coworker, it could be friend, it could be lover, it could be a, nu a numerous a number of things, and you care about them, pick up the phone tonight and call them and just say, you know what, I love you and I appreciate you because you're not really sure. I mean, we're not really sure if anybody's gonna be here tomorrow, but there is clearly, for whatever the reason, a vendetta out, an APB out on African-American men and boys in this country. Um, and we've got to first acknowledge the problem, but two, beyond knowledge problem, we just gotta tell them that we love them. And when I talk to my brother today, I'm like, listen, brah, I love you because I don't know if you are gonna fall on the wrong side of a police stop today, or, or I'm gonna fall on the wrong side of a police stop tomorrow. We're really facing tough times in this country. We've really gotta do something about it.